Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. Time to discuss this vineyard over there, Martha's Vineyard. That's the one we're about to discuss today. It's season one, episode five. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. Let's, you know, Jasmine. Jasmine's still at the end of the table crying. I feel bad for Jasmine. Because for whatever reason, she feels like it's necessary to placate this girl, Bria who is absolutely out of her damn mind. I feel like she needs a whole spanking. And I know that's not appropriate, but I feel like that's what's, you know, did she get a spanking or at least popped when she was, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't say that. Anyway, I mean, in the most loving way, you know, like the way Preston would like to pop her ass so she will sit down somewhere and stop acting a damn fool. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Jasmine is crying because Bria, remember, she changed her mind. She don't want Mariah to come now to the house. And Jasmine is like, bitch, why are you playing with me? You act like this girl's going to run up on you when she walk in the house. She don't care. It's just like one more person to take away the attention away from Bria. Because Bria's not getting no attention unless she kicking and screaming. Because she always being ridiculous. Anyway. Jasmine is venting. Bria is saying things like, yeah, yeah. Like she's being very weirdly understanding. And I'm like, girl, you're the reason why she's crying. What do you mean? Yeah, you understand. So then what, what is wrong with you? Plus the fact that I guess I didn't think about, I mean, we know that's where the emotions are from coming from. You know what I mean? We know she's pregnant. They don't know yet, but we know. And um, her man is gone. He's, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's not deployed, but, you know, he's actively away. And when her and Silas met, they were in COVID times where everybody was snuggling up and having, you know, time together. So this is a different experience for her. But I mean, you're married to a military man. So that's one of those things that goes along with it. And now you're going to have a baby with a man who, you know, probably won't be around. I'm just saying. Not because he decided not to go. <laughs> I mean, not because he decided to go, but because he, that's, you know, that's, that's y'all's life. So I think it's, you know, important too for Jasmine to figure out who she is with Silas is gone because it seems like he's going to be gone until he retire. And I don't know how close that is, but, you know, it is what it is. So it's got her a little on edge. And this child over here throwing tantrums for no damn reason is not helping. Jordan and Mira are in the bar having shots because Jordan, who started all this emotional train wreck in the first place, has now decided that she's comfortable with the discomfort that everybody else is experiencing. So she can now go have a good time. Amir has become a professional at avoiding all you ladies and y'all's bullshit. If he learned anything last season, he learned to stay away from y'all and things won't go left. Because I don't think he's found any stress over here with Alex and Preston and Nick. I don't remember it. If it happened, I don't remember it. The uh, only person I've seen having Amir get out of character is that damn Phil. So... Thus, him being voted off the island. Ain't nobody voted Mariah off the island except Bria. And Bria is unreasonable about everything. Everything. Jordan and Amir take a shot. Stay in the bar getting toasty. And on one side, I feel like, you know, the nerve of you, Jordan. On the other side, I feel like I'd rather be taking shots than listening to this child whining about nothing, too. The vibe is just a little bit off over there. Preston asked Bria, like, what would have happened if it was the other way around? And I was the only one that didn't want Phil to come. Because at this point, Bria is all, you know, she's turning up now. She's like, I mean, I just, y'all, I was disrespected last year. And then y'all not just going to disrespect me and rah, rah, rah. She's like a little fly to swat her ass somewhere. Rah, rah, nothing. Bria said, it would be completely different because I would have had your back. But he doesn't believe her because we know she on bullshit. Bria, only thing Bria cares about is having Bria's way. That's it. That's all. So, you know, I feel like because everyone didn't want Phil back, 
she knew she couldn't, you know, go up against everyone. But now this is just, you know, Jasmine's friend who did nothing to you, honestly. You know, y'all be exercising some real care and behavior. I would like for that to be brought to the front. Did anybody say that? Has anybody noticed that? I'm sure y'all have. I'm probably late. I'm probably like really slow noticing how y'all be out here acting like Karen's Bria Summer Jordan, Shanice. The hell with these temper tantrums y'all be having. I've been on many girls trips to get away with friends and things. And, you know, although by the end of the vacation, we'd be tired of each other. This don't be it. Bri and they're getting defensive and loud and she cussing and acting all ghetto. And that's another thing about these girls over here. Not so much Noelle. I ain't seen her act like that. And not really Jasmine either, to be honest with you. It's just these three. Bri is Summer Jordan. It's just y'all. Y'all be out somewhere talking like this and getting your best valley girl situation going on and then still be acting ghetto. Like, that's not ghetto. It, it's still ghetto. I'm just saying. I feel like y'all think you're detached from it, but you ain't because y'all be out here doing like ghetto shit. Hollering and screaming in the restaurant. Embarrassing Nick. Nick is like, will y'all please? Y'all look real crazy about now. Front these white people. <laughs> It was written all over his face. He like, y'all got these white folks looking at us, a fool in Martha's Vineyard, like we all know how to act somewhere. Bria over there punching her hand like she about to do something. Preston is like, girl, ain't nobody scared of you. Sit your ass down. Uh, y'all, she's a brat and we all know she's a brat. I don't know why y'all sitting over here acting like this behavior is normal. I get you, Preston. Uh, somebody need to say it. And then she's sitting there. How old is she? I went, I went in Uber. Girl. Call one. Did you bring your phone? That's how that works. Matter of fact, you, you're down to the vineyard. Just hit the black car. Uh, car. You can ride in luxury. You and Milo. If I could go somewhere and call a black car, girl, you call you a black car. It's just on the app. You don't even have to talk to nobody. You want an Uber. Who's responsible for calling your Uber? Time the uh little, you know, what's its name? Alex is over there with his face buried in his hands. Like, if I just be quiet, they still gonna call you a fuckboy. You could go sit in the corner and don't say nothing to nobody. <laughs> you can go to church. And I hate that even, I, I mean, I don't hate it. I'm just saying. <sighs> Y'all call this boy a fuckboy every chance you get, but I just, I can't do it because I haven't seen it. He may very well be. I don't know what kind of boy he is, but I know compared to what y'all be over here doing, I just don't see it. I see y'all talking about this man while he's over here in the corner, minding his own damn business. Right now, y'all acting a damn fool. He's the designated driver, him and Jasmine. So they haven't even had any alcohol. So whatever you looking like to each other, to him, you looking real crazy because it's real crazy. Jordan and Amir come back with the daggone shots and <laughs> I guess it's time to go now. So on the way back to the house, now uh, everybody in the car, like Shanice has had a breakdown of some sort. Jasmine's had a breakdown of some sort. Jordan has also broken down at the table. And, you know, it's been Bria, all the ladies, everyone, <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> pretty much the guys ain't do shit, but sit around listening to y'all have these emotional breakdowns. Now we got to listen to y'all, you know, Preston, your friend group is making you seem a little bit problematic. Now I like you, Preston. I do. But I'm just saying your friend group keeping you in a lot of shit. And it probably has something to do with the fact that, I don't know, I, Preston is a gay man who probably gets tired of listening to these clowns say stupid shit like, are you going to rebeat, Nick? Rebeat. The fuck? So I understand. I'm just saying, ciao. You gonna stay stressed because look at your friend group. You with these bipolar girls to be snipping and snapping, and there's three of them. So you got you don't know where it's coming from. 
you don't have PTSD after being friends with these girls. And you said you met Jasmine through stylists. I think, child, you might have navigate yourself a little bit around your friend group. Or are you going to be losing your hair or something? They stressful. Amir sleep. He not listening to them bitching all the way back to the house. They're in their perspective little Uber van situations and you know, Preston is over there giving his side of the story and what's this girl? Bria is explaining why, you know, she's a hot ass mess. Amir is taking a nap. He just had about 17 shots in order to numb the noise. They walk in the house and I was like, I know these grown ass people did not leave this kitchen looking like that. Ain't no way y'all walked out of that house with lobster tails and things still sitting on the kitchen cabinet. Now y'all need a duty list because none of that makes sense. You are not 19 and just left the house. I see all, how many is it? One, two, three, four, how, 12. I don't know how many of you there are, but too damn many grown people to have walked in, out of that house with it looking like that. Like whose plate was that? You couldn't make it to the trash can? Sure. Somebody make a duty list. Milo is up in the room tearing shit up. He all up on the table. Like, Bria, I don't really, I'm getting concerned about you as a, as a dog mom in general. Like, you got this dog. Is it for a front? Because why do you have a table where Milo can get to the shit if you're going to lock him in that room by himself? What if he would have anything on that table that was going to make him hurt or sick? Bria, why are you out having shots? He eating toilet paper. Might be wilding. And you come home and you hold him the whole time and carry him around because you think you're Paris Hilton. It's still stupid. Her dog probably had a babysitter or something. Yours doesn't. Milo needs an emotional support friend because you have him locked up in a room at a house that he doesn't live at. So you can go terrorize people. She's still stomping around the house because she's mad because we don't know why she's mad. Mariah's not coming. So what is your problem? Milo, you know, acting a fool. Nick is like, your dog crying for you. And then she want to cuss him out. He's like, what did I do? She's drunk. She blackout drunk. It's so attractive. Jasmine and Shanice are up in the room. So Jasmine just wants to like acknowledge to Shanice that she apologized about her part in this very traumatizing situation about the whole Google thing. So she's sorry. Now Shanice is crying and she didn't broke up all the uh, brought up all these emotions about how she lost her job and you know she had to pay a lawyer because of this man that she was accused of stalking. Shanice, if it's like this, girl, you really need to like go home then. Maybe you should like go home, get a job. I'm just saying. I don't understand. Is this a job? Don't you get a check for coming over here? If you chose to come over here and get a check, which I feel like should be decent, you know what I'm saying? At least you got you on your second season. So it had to be a little bit more than last time. You should have negotiated a situation that you wouldn't be pressed like this while you're out of your job. And if that's what you did, stop freaking crying about it because it sounds crazy. You don't be on a two-week vacation if you're worried about not being able to eat because you lost your job. How old are you? Too old to be this silly. Nick is in the kitchen. Bria comes in there. He was like, what you snap on me for? He's like, I told you your dog was crying. She said you called, you called me a hoe. And I was like, he did not call you no hoe. What would it? Y'all like targeting Nick. Is that what you're doing? What is happening here? I don't like it. He didn't say nothing about no hoes. Now, when you go back and tell that story to some somebody else, and you're going to say what? That Nick was calling you a hoe? And he said, your dog's crying? I said they'd be doing Karen shit. That was some Karen shit. I'm sorry. What did you say? Now, this is the second thing y'all said. First, he's handsy. 
Now he calling people hoes. He's confused as hell. Then here comes Summer sitting down, involving herself in the conversation. She's like, are you good now? Are you yourself? Like, or are you still on pop-off? And she's like, no, no, for real. I'm good. I'm good. I'm myself. And then Summer goes, yeah, because I feel like, you know, you're like one of the funnest, calmest people I've ever met in my whole life. And I'm like, Summer be lying. She's a lying ass. You know what? I'm not going to say it, but you know what? I don't know what she's drinking, but is is it the alcohol? Is that what you do when you start drinking? You start lying, Summer. We were sitting at the table last time, and you said, after you were mean to that girl, that's how you apologize. You told her her clothes was trash, and then you was like, girl, don't worry about it. You got the best body out of everybody here. And Noelle's looking at you like, maybe not, but okay. <laughs> Just saying. Now, this clown girl is the nicest, calmest person you've met in your whole entire life. And Nick is like, since y'all are on bullshit, let me go ahead and get up. And Summer, Bria, no, stay here. Sit down. You've missed enough things. You should spend time. Do you want to go take a support nap? And he's like, a support what? What are you talking about? It's a support sleep. When, when they lay with you. For support. So why do you need so much support, girl? You need some support from support sleep nap next to the man that the ladies are over here saying that he might be a little handsy. And if they said it to us, then they said it to you. So you heard about it. You heard what they said about him. Now you want him to go get a support sleep. And he called you a hoe. You said he called you a hoe. Now here come Nick, the fuck boy. You want him to have a support sleep with you too. They both declined the support sleep. Nick is like, are you out of your mind? So, you know, I got a girl, so she's not going to be happy with any of that. And like, so I'm here like sleeping with you. What if your man walk in the door and I'm supposed to tell him that I'm your support sleep person, but he can want to fight? Sounds like setup, you know, Karen shit. Y'all better be careful. You better correct this behavior before it goes too far. I'm just saying. Y'all called Nick, not Nick. Y'all called Alex a fuckboy who might just slip up inside you. But you want him to come do a support sleep next to you. Get it together. The next day, they're up for breakfast. Shanice and Bria are having a little, I was drunk last night and I don't remember anything I said meeting in the kitchen. They talking about Alex. Again, here comes Alex. Here they are running their mouth. They acting all weird. He's like, uh, good morning. Shanice talking about how how her mama hated Alex. Oh my God, she's so traumatized by Alex and my mother hates you. And I was like, the same mother that said, don't go naked on the slip and slide unless Alex is coming. She doesn't like him. She hates him in fact, but she would definitely like for you to go slipping on the slide with naked Alex. Okay. She says she's sorry. I'm saying she's full of shit. But today's activity is the basketball day. I don't know who planned basketball day. I'm not going. I'm going like Preston went. I'm going to go like hang out with y'all or whatever, but I'm not playing basketball. Mm -mm. Before they leave, Jasmine tells Bria, look, Mariah found somewhere else to stay. So, you know, just so you can go on with your day in comfort and ease and no stress. I would have let her stress for the rest of the vacation. She don't even really have to say too much to me. I will be giving her the, hey, hey, yeah, good morning, girl. Be gone with you. Not entertaining you, you know, in this bullshit. And I would have made arrangements for Mariah or, you know, y'all figure out how you're going to stay some, uh, somewhere else. Sleep somewhere else. We still go hang out. You know, that's not going to ruin my time here. Her and his bullshit. Alex and Shanice said they played ball in college. Congratulations for them. Everybody else is just tired and exhausted. It seems like. 
<laughs> None of them seem like they play basketball. Nick is like, I'm tall, but this is not, you know, what I do. And Preston is like, I'm not trying to hurt myself. I'm not even trying to pretend like I'm going to play basketball. So y'all can have it. I'm going to sit over here and talk to Bria. And I mean, he sits down with her. He tells her like, you know what? I'm not mad at you. He say sorry. I'm not mad, but you be acting like a brat. And that sums it up pretty much. After basketball, Noel, I mean, I guess, did she set, shut the game down, I think? Because she got sick. And I mean, yeah, I guess, girl, they was out drinking the night before. And now she's playing basketball. So I'm guessing this ain't really what she do either. She was a trooper, though. Uh, Shanice, you know, she has to prove that she was a basketball player in college. So she's going home with a twisted ankle and will be laying down, icing that thing up for the rest of the night. Um, everybody else is going out. They're going to have some chicken enchiladas, chill, and get ready to go out to the club. So when we go out, and I told you, these guys, they be moving. You be doing stuff at the club, at the pool, in the kitchen, at the basketball. We got a lot of stuff to do. So keep up if you can, child. Now we're going to the club. Bria wants to bring Milo because that's what we do. We bring the dog to the club. I mean, she brings the dog to the club. In the south of France and Germany and wherever, all the places in Spain and all these places that she's been. But over here in Martha's Vineyard, that's not what we do. And it's, to me, another irresponsible dog owner thing to be doing, Bria. You bring in, I mean, yeah, Bria, you bring in your dog to the club and it's loud inside there. And I feel like it's, don't dogs have like more sensitive, you know, more keen hearing than we do and you, in the club, but, the, you know. It just, just it doesn't seem like a good idea. That's all I'm saying. And then there's liquor on the floor. So your dog going to be licking liquor off the floor. And the way y'all be twerking with a drink in your hand, you can't tell me that there is not liquor on the floor. And people stepping all over. And girl, they're going to come confiscate, what you call it, the CPS people, the Child Protective Services. They don't play about dogs. You better quit playing buy him a purse and carry him around in. Milo don't seem like he going to sit still in no purse for too long. Now she got to sit down in the car. So we got to listen to this phone call between her and Simon because he's hasn't seen him in a month and he's very upset because I always do all his cooking and cleaning. Those are my duties over there with Simon. And so this has come many problems in our relationship. What does that look like, Bria running around cooking for Simon? Did you did you put your hands on the food after you just picked one of Milo's little poops off the floor? I seen what your kitchen looked like. I'm not eating over there. None of y'all. Huh. Y'all can keep that macaroni and cheese and any of the other things that y'all had on that table. I knew someone right about that kitchen. I knew someone right about that kitchen. You think I want to eat your breakfast after I saw that? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. The next day, Nick realizes that maybe there should be a system put in place on how to clean the kitchen. Huh. Today is rodeo day. This is Amir's event. Good job, Amir. This was a good event. Everybody's getting ready. We get a view of Preston's ass. I mean, it was there, so I'm going to mention it. We all got to see Preston's ass. He said he's ready to talk to Phil, I guess. Like, you don't even know this nigga, but we're going to talk to Phil. So they have a FaceTime call and Phil starts out saying, you know, this is no excuse, but I was drunk when I met you. Okay. You were drunk when you met me and I came here on vacation to hang out and turn up. And if you are drunk and stupid, then you are somebody that I probably am fine on not hanging out with. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. I feel like Preston gave him more than he deserves. So, you know, you came over here shitting in toilets and all kinds of stuff. And I guess, my boy, stay over there with those people that you um came to the vineyard with. Amir, you know, this he, he getting the food and things ready for rodeo day. The kids are like on their way to the event, listening to the country music, trying to get their 
um, you know, rodeo vibe on. We arrive at the spot. Noelle pops out the car in her equestrian gear. It, you know, at least it's for horse riding. That's been give her that. It wasn't giving rodeo. It was definitely giving equestrian. But Shanice, of course, has on some bajean booty shorts. And I was like, girl, if you was icing your ankle yesterday, you're going to have to ice some other things today. Because riding on a horse in some booty shorts is not the smartest thing to do. But okay, girl. Jordan. <clears throat> Now, last night they were at a, you know, at a little bar situation and Jordan breaks down with this whole story about how, you know, her mother passed away when she was 11 years old and how she was like bearing the responsibility of taking care of her grandparents. Only fast forward to the next day to talk about how she's an award winning equestrian. And I'm like, I feel like that's, you know, those aren't cheap things to involve your children in. You do good to like get your kids like in a local football, basketball, baseball team, soccer team or something. You know what I'm saying? That stuff gets expensive when you're talking about, you know, just the average person um, running around and trying to work and do things, you know, mom things dad things, family things, you know what I'm saying? And so equestrian requires horses and saddles and things that are far more expensive than, oh, a basketball uniform. My point is, I feel like the picture that she was serving up yesterday at the bar of how, you know, this responsibility and burden was so heavy on her just gives me a little bit of pause when I see her today um, talking about how wealthy her upbringing was. That's it, Jordan. I mean, now we're doing stock races. We didn't got off the horses and we're doing stock races in the apple bobbing and they look like they having fun. I don't bob for apples. That shit is nasty. So I get it, but no, thank you. Um, who was it? Noel. Yeah, Noel was like, mm, I mean, it seems like it theoretically, I guess it seems fun. It's too much spitting and shitting involved for me. No. They're on the way home and Jasmine sent the group a text letting them know that there will be a guest attending dinner tonight. And, you know, of course, they thrown off like, who is it going to be? And uh, Bria want to pop off a little bit like, but not be right. We just got that. You, 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 you know, shut, shut, shut your ass up. We back at the house and Amir's talking to his girlfriend and I think his girlfriend is very pretty and she's also very controlling and seems a little bit emotionally abusive if you want to ask me like, girl, ain't nobody trying to jump through hoops to figure out what's wrong with you and it feels like something always is. What is your problem? <sighs> Y'all be happy to see, uh, talk to uh, Amir like he's not there. You're away. You're away and he... <laughs> I just feel like you don't never seem happy to hear from Amar. Are we just missing the calls or you'd be happy to talk to him? He always feels like he's trying to explain some to you. It should be interesting when she comes to visit. I mean, I'm, the girl said they wasn't really feeling her. So I'm not surprised, but it's a whole lot of nasty energy over here in this circle, girls. So I can't imagine it was going to be easy to slide in. Try to slide through Bria because she needs friends. And as long as you like pay her attention, you know, she'll be the one to maybe go through. Or Noel. Noel's very sweet. She's gonna be embracing, you know, seems like. Plus, she's new. That's just, you know, my suggestion. The girls are at the pool, they sitting around, you know, doing what they do, chilling at the vineyard. I'm not mad at that. Bria comes out of her mouth to Noel and Summer. Um, so did y'all ever, you know, have that conversation about Alex? And I'm like, why? Why we need to have another conversation about Alex? We keep on doing that. Every week we come have a conversation about Alex while he sits somewhere in the corner, not paying no attention to y'all, really. Noel was like, yeah, I was just saying like, you know, how uncomfortable I was knowing that you and Alex had had actually had a thing thing and it wasn't just, you know, a hangout thing. And I'm like, Noel, didn't she tell you that though? And you decided to pursue it anyway. I feel like you didn't have that information, but then you got it and y'all had a little talk about it. This is like the seventh time we've talked about it. 
and y'all had a little discussion and you still was meeting Alex down to the refrigerator. That's the way I remember it. I don't care enough to go back and see, but I feel like that's how it went. <clears throat> Summer then responded, of course, the way she did is, dang, I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you like how we were together and how many times I made him skadoosh. Why you got to say things like that? At the end of the day, don't seem like that's how it's going down now. Whatever you was doing over there before is, you know, a wrap. And so now he's labeled the fuck boy. Then for whatever reason, she storms off. I was like, are we mad now? <clears throat> okay. She goes stomping through the house. Noel following behind her like, oh my God, what is wrong with this girl? Y'all quit talking about Alex. And then you probably won't have no issues. But then you never know her. So, and by the way, Noel looked amazing in her confessional. I was like, okay, girl, do it then. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about whatever she's stomping off at because that's what she did. Now you see. Jasmine is in the kitchen trying to explain to Noel why her behavior is the way it is. It don't matter. Her behavior is bad. She has a bad behavior. What are you stomping off for? Can we not talk about Alex again? Everybody sits down for dinner. They're anticipating this guest. I don't know what they was eating. I don't even care because I would prefer staying away from their kitchen because they are nasty. But they don't eat that shit anyway, whatever it is. The big conversation is more about the guests that they have, are expecting. And, you know, she lets them know, da -da, I'm pregnant. I've been stuck in my stomach in this whole entire time. And I was like, wow, that seems crazy. <laughs> they can just buy a bigger shirt. They have look, you know, stomach ain't that big. You could have, you could have shopped different, girl. Make yourself comfortable and, um, you know, sundresses all day, baby doll dresses. That'll do it. Everybody said they knew anyway. They said her titties was doing that thing that titties do when they get all, you know, milky and things. It's not the same as what they was before, but that's what the people said. They all knew. The, uh. Not Amir. He did not notice. <laughs> I, I think Amir is like, that is somebody's wife. I would not be ever. Even if I was, I would never say I did. I'm afraid of silence. Silas probably won't be able to be there, you know, when the baby is born. So, you know, they have a little moment where they come together. Even, even Jordan, I'm surprised. She mustered up some type of congratulations I'd be careful with it if I were you, Jasmine. But anyway, they said a prayer. You know, it was real cute. It's like, okay, it's, everybody seems like to have a moment. It was a good moment. Because they ain't got but five minutes before this girl, one of these girls, lose their damn mind. They're having one of those nights that they have at the house when they don't have nowhere to go or no plans on going out. On out nights, they get drunk on the, in the house and have talent shows. This one is called Apollo Night. Apollo Night, I didn't get it. I don't know what, do they know what Apollo is? I don't know if they know what Apollo even is. But at the end of the day, Amir won the award, the Apollo Night Award for his poetry. And I guess, you know, somebody had to win, somebody had to lose. Um, Next week, the partners are here. Been looking forward to that. This is should be interesting. You know, we met Nick's girlfriend, so she's not a problematic girl. They all like her, but that Amir, his girlfriend, I think is coming to stir some things up. Mariah will be there, so I'm glad to kind of get a chance. I almost want to go back and see like that first few episodes she was there. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Mariah's there and Bria looking a fool, but you know, when doesn't she? Um, Simon is there, I believe. I feel like Simon probably will, will once again have more fun with the people than, you know, Bree will get on his nerves and he will realize how glad he was to be able to have that time away from her ass. Um, Summer want to fight somebody. Now she walking around punching her hand between her and Bree and this hand punching. I don't know like what they think it's supposed to be, but that's what I ended y'all. Like the video, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.